Good afternoon. I uh, would like to start off by uh, thanking the players. Uh, this is a voluntary part of the season, and uh, just thanking all the guys that are that have showed up the last uh, two weeks prior to this week um, in our phase one. Um, in that phase, we're working with the strength staff, and I want to also thank those guys. They've done a great job integrating the players uh, into our new systems in terms of the nutrition, strength and conditioning. Um, they've just done an outstanding job, and we're working to change a lot of the guys' bodies and, and in terms of the conditioning, in terms of the running, in terms of the speed, uh, body compositions, and, and all those types of things. So that's an exciting part of it. And we got a chance for the last two weeks to meet with the players, you know, uh, during meeting time and, and start teaching our concepts. You know, the concepts are all new to everybody, offense, defense, and kicking. And uh, Luke Getze and Alan Williams and Richard Hightower have done a great job with that. And I've, as I stated before, I'm really impressed with their teaching, uh, the concepts of how they teach, and, and the, the way in which they teach, and the steps in which they go about their business. So I'm really excited about that. Um, in terms of this today and, th and this week, this is an exciting week. This is our first time on the grass. Uh, we started out today with a walkthrough, um, which is about 30 minutes. It was 10 minutes of special teams, 20 minutes for the walkthrough. That was really good. And really just introducing our day one concepts, you know, day one run, uh, day one run action passes, uh, play action pass, the, the drop back pass, the empty game, and then defensively our fronts and coverages. That's what we've been doing. Uh, started with our punt team today. And protection that was really good too. So uh, then we got on to practice. And the biggest thing, the message with those guys is, we're going against each other to be safe, right? Uh, to finish. And my main message this morning was this. I said, hey guys, football comes down to the, the simplest form of execution. And what what is that? And that's you know alignment, assignment, key and technique. And everybody has that. So when you get the play, offense, defense, or kicking, when you get the play from the huddle, man, let's get lined up, right? That's a line assign key and technique, and let's execute and everybody finish. And that was my last message: is, is to finish the right way. So we'll be looking at tape on, on the technique, on the fundamentals, execution, and the finish of, of the practice today. Um, today we stayed separate the entire day. We did not go against each other at all, and that was designed. That was on purpose because we want to get our plays, you know, offensive plays down and our defensive calls uh, down before we do that. Tomorrow we'll get together a couple of times. We're going to do a, a small, short seven-on-seven, seven, and then we'll do an 11-on-11 11 11 tomorrow. So uh, we're excited about that so far. But again, thanking the players. It's voluntary. They've all been here, been uh, just awesome and great uh, working with the, the players uh, and the coaches, and we're excited about that right now. So uh, open up for questions. Coach, Eddie Jackson figures to be an important part of what you want to do here. Any concern that he wasn't here today? No, no concern. No concern. You know, and, and really, it's just like I know you might have questions about this player, that player, or you know, guys. You know, you're out there and you saw guys that were in or out. That's part of this time of the year. You know, guys have things that go on personally. They have things that go on. You know, they're they're working on a part of their body, whatever. Uh, maybe they had an injury from uh, the last season, and maybe they're somewhere working on that. There's every everybody's got their own story. So, and that's not a big issue. Everybody's done a great job of communicating with us, and uh, they'll be here when they're here. And when they're here, they're going to get good work. Matt, how receptive have they been to your philosophy and your message to them as they're getting to know you during this time, too? Yeah, you know, it's been a short time, but I, I feel that it's been really receptive uh, by the whole team. And, uh, you know, what we're teaching and what we're telling them is that it's winning football. You know, it's the rudiments of the game. It's about blocking and tackling. It's about doing the th simple things better than anybody else does, and uh, they've, been, they've been good. How can you tell that, though, Matt? What indicates that to you that this is clicking and that guys are receiving this well? Yeah, I would just say uh, today is a great example. There was, there was a great execution out there for the first day. You know, a lot of times you'll see other things that don't show that, you know, like uh, snaps that are dropped and guys jumping off sides and, and, you know, defensively guys missing their assignments. I saw really good execution today, and that's a tribute to them paying attention to what we're trying to do, uh, offense, defense, and kicking. Matt, what do you want to see from Justin this week? Yeah, just, he's just soaking it in and learning and taking command of the offense, and that's what he's doing. He's done a great job with that so far. I thought he did an excellent job today. He really did. He was in command of the offense. Uh, really every play that I saw, you know, and there's certainly when you're working with 11 guys, there was a mistake here and there by, by, you know, this person or that person, but man, he had really good command today. What are you noticing about the way he's kind of adapting to learning a new playbook and working with Luke? 
Yeah, just uh, I've noticed uh, just his confidence. You know, he's got uh, really good confidence in the room. Uh, when I'm in the quarterback room, when I'm in the offensive room, uh, calling out the plays, executing, and then what the adjustments are if we may have that for that particular play. But confidence, I would say. Jesse, how do you describe him as a, a teacher and as a communicator? Yeah, so he's—I uh, would say—he's very methodical with his teaching. You know, it's—he's been in this system a long time, and he knows the ins and outs of it in terms of uh, you know what's the next step, um, and he knows also the foundation of it. And I would say that he's really good at teaching that foundation because all your concepts come off of the foundation, um, and uh, you might have this concept, but man, it's—it's it's real similar to this concept. And you can also also teach it the same. And sameness and likeness is really good for a player um, on any side of the ball. Jenkins, uh, I know just day one, you had Warham on the left side and, and Jenkins on the right. That's flipped from last year. Uh, what's your what's the thought process of Luke or whoever made that decision as far as having those guys at those spots? Yeah, and we're, we're looking at a lot of things right now. So you might see guys in a lot of different spots. A guy could be playing X receiver or Z receiver or U tight end, Y tight end, left left defensive end, right defensive end. We're going to play with a lot of different combinations right now because we're just trying to figure out what guys do and what they do the best. So you know, we, we you could see those guys flip. You know, you know during OTAs they could flip sides. You know, so we're just looking to see exactly what guys do best. When you try to figure that out, I mean, what types of things are you looking at? I mean, I'm sure some of it's a little bit of a projection. Are you going back to college tape? Or are you looking at the limited tape last year? What are you looking at? Everything. Yeah, we're looking at everything. We want to make sure that we look at all all the information, and then make a good decision. And this again, this is a work in progress. We're going to work this all the way through the, to the first game. Uh, so we're going to try different combinations uh, in there on, on both sides of the ball. So that, that could be fluid uh, until actually week one of the regular season. It depends on how long it takes to make the decision. You know, yes, it, it, it could be. You got, I think you got to be flexible with that. You know, and then see what guys can do. You know, and then push boundaries. I think you want to push boundaries with players and say, okay. We're going to push you to this point or put you in a new spot to push you in a different way to see if you can do it. And then, yes, you can do it. Or, hey, you're, it's a little bit of a struggle. Hey, keep working at it. Keep working at it and keep coaching him. And then he might get it, you know, at whatever position. So I think you got to push him that way and challenge him. I know you've said before with Justin this year, it's about getting the ball out of his hands quickly. When you can't simulate like live drills and pass rush at this point of the off season, how do you go about having him like hone that skill? Yeah, I think it's about footwork and then the timing, the footwork and timing. You know, there should be a clock. You know, on every single drop that he takes, um, there's the drop, the number of steps, and then there's a hitch or there's a second hitch, and that ball's got to be out of his hands on the first one or the second one, based on based on the coverage and based on the call. Has the, he talked earlier about like when he's in the gun, changing his, his footwork uh, from going from like I think it's from right to left. Has that helped him getting the ball out quicker, just from what you've seen so far? Yeah, I, I don't know. I can't answer that right now, but uh, I, I'm sure I'm sure it will eventually. And I think that uh, his footwork is, is getting a lot cleaner, and that's going to help him, you know, uh, get through the ball and get it out faster. What are you learning about this new role for you? I mean, as you start your first mini camp as head coach. Yeah, it's been great. It's been great because I had a chance to go and, and visit with every position today. Um, that, that's really good. And I got my eyes on a few guys that I want to look at and see what their skill sets are. So I got a chance to do that. But uh, it's, it's enjoyable. I really like it. And I get a chance to talk to each of the coaches, um, not only on the field, but also get to in every position room, talk to those guys, and uh, visit with them you know, and, and see how they coach. And that, that's been uh, enjoyable. Are you able to sense leadership qualities in Justin? And if so, in what ways do you see that? Yeah, I, I really do. I, I want to see leadership qualities uh, with everybody. Because I always say this, is that, you know, everybody, when you're part of a group, everybody needs to lead. And everybody needs to pivot and follow at some point. You just do, you know. And, and I think that coach, player, quarterback, head football coach, coordinator, you're going to have to listen to the people around you, right, because it's a team. And you're going to have to pivot. And when, when it's time to lead, you gotta, you got to step up and lead and, and, and get the direction going there. And I've seen that from him, and he's done a good job with that so far. Well, how do you go about earning credibility with the players yourself? Coming in at this point in the year, how do you, how do you view that? I would just say just be myself. Just be myself. I think it's, uh, if you try to be somebody else um, and it's not honest and truthful, um, I think you lose credibility. I think when you're honest and truthful and upfront with guys and you tell them exactly and you, and you put it on the table, 
so it's plain to see, and then you, you challenge them to get that done, they appreciate that, and they respect that. Matt, so, some coaches like to have a locker room set up where all the players are by position, and others in recent years have done the in intermingling so players get to know each other, whatever. Which one do you prefer? Which will you have? Well, I don't know about locker room setup. Um, you know, I think that's 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 could be an important piece of it. But I do think this that that, and I've said this before, is that we should not see offense and defense and kicking. We should see the Chicago Bears. So, you know, I know one thing in the weight room we, we'll do is we have the offense and defense line lift together. You know, that's an important thing that we do. Um, and then the skill guys lift together. You know, not just offensive skill, all skill lifts together. I think that's a way to get that camaraderie and build that unity uh, within the group. But uh, we, don't want, we don't want that. We want to be Chicago Bears. Offense, defense, and kicking, that doesn't matter. But as far as the locker room itself, that hasn't been determined? Or, or, or you just go with what they had as far as the setup? Yeah, yeah, we have a. We only got 50 guys on the roster right now, so we're we, we get the guys are in their lockers where they are. We haven't changed or adjusted the locker yet. Matt, it's only a couple of days, and it's obviously pretty ground level at this point. But do you expect this week at all to help inform the draft process for next week and, and helping you get a better understanding of what you have, what you might not have? Yeah, I, I think that's that's an ongoing process. You know, to see exactly where we are. Um, you know, we'll have meetings all the way up to the draft, and that, certainly that'll be part of it. That'll be part of the discussion for sure. Matt, in this early oh, phase, how much do you have to coach your coaches to make sure that they're who you think they are, hope they are, and to make sure everybody's singing from the same hymn book, so to speak? No, I think that's part of the job as a head coach, you know, and a coordinator. You know, the coordinators are, are you know, responsible for coaching their, their, you know, their side, and I'm responsible for coaching the coaches on, on all sides. And sometimes it might just be, hey, I saw in that drill where you can show them one thing, hey, this is how we finish. This is make sure that we finish all the way through um, or a technique or a fundamental that you might want to adjust or, or you know, show the coach. But uh, I think that's the job of the head coach is to coach the coaches. Is there, in addition to the hits program, though, a, a certain style that you want consistent through your coaching staff? Is yeah, now? absolutely, absolutely. And I, you know, I, I, uh, I think I stated that a couple weeks ago that I, I went down and met with every coach uh, talked about the progression of each player and also how we're going to practice. And uh, today was a good start. It was a really good start. We're excited about where it is, uh, but it's got to get better. Yeah.